creative. You got that PPP loan, but now how do you account for it in your QuickBooks? Today I'm going to show you how to account for it in your QuickBooks file and how to account for partial and total forgiveness when that happens. So let's dive on in. Once your PPP loan is approved, you receive a deposit from your bank. So coming into QuickBooks, this is the dashboard. We're going to go to the banking screen where you'll see there's a $25,000 deposit for this demo client and the description came in from the bank as a Citizens Bank PPP loan. Most of the descriptions for the loans are pretty explanatory so you can tell what it is and obviously by the amount you know what the item is. We're going to add this item from bank feeds but we're going to add an account first. So you'll click on the item, you'll come down to category, scroll up to add new. This is going to be a new liability account and we will do other current liabilities. And this is a loan payable and I'm gonna call it what I do for my clients which is the bank's name and then what it is. And then I'm going to save and close. And so now this is going to go to this account I just created on my balance sheet. So I'm going ahead and go to add, then I'll go to reports. We'll pull a balance sheet. So you can see now that the liability is showing up right here. Citizens Bank, PPP loan, $25,000 balance. You can go ahead here if you want, and I have a number system. So I'm just gonna go over to accounting to the chart of accounts, I'm going to find that here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a number so that it makes sense with the rest of my chart of accounts. Now when I go to my reports, now it has a number that's in sequence. There's the balance. So now what happens if they forgive, let's say uh, $20,000 of this gets forgiven, leaving a $5,000 balance that you're going to have to make payments on. So then what happens is there will be a journal entry that you need to do. First thing you'll need to do is create a new account because you are going to want to break out that income as PPP loan income, the 20,000 that was forgiven, because for tax purposes, you may need to see that broken out. So let's go ahead and create a new account. This will actually be an, an other income account and we'll just call this other miscellaneous income. And then I'm going to call it PPP loan income. I'm also going to give it a number because I want it to look good on my chart of accounts and be consistent. There we go. Now you see the 4,100. So we'll go back to the reports. We'll go to the balance sheet. We see the $25,000. So we're going to do a journal entry. So we go to new journal entry and then this is the date. We'll say it was forgiven today. So now we'll say PPP that and then PPP loan income. So we want to move $20,000 from the balance of the loan to income that's going to show up on our P&L. All right, so we want to decrease the liability so that'll be a debit of $20,000 to the loan when we want to increase the income so that'll be $20,000 to that account. We'll go ahead and we'll hit save and close. You'll see instantly the balance left on the loan is the $5,000 that you'll pay over the two year period that the bank gives you. And then you'll also see if I go run a P&L but I now have this PPP loan income that will be accounted for at tax time at the end of the year, broken out from my regular income. Okay, so you start making payments on the balance. So let's go to banking. You can see that the first loan payment went through. It was $535.16. And for this example, let's say that $35.16 of this is actually interest that they're charging on that balance. So you're going to click on this line to expand it, then you're going to click down here to split it. This is going to allow us to put $500 to the balance of the loan. So let's look for our PPP loan. This is the loan, not the income. We want to pay down the loan, put $500. And then the 3516 goes to interest expense. So 3516. And this way, our balance of our loan actually reflects the correct balance when we go to reconcile it. So now we're going to click Save and App. And if we go back to Reports and we go to the balance sheet, we're going to see now that, look it, the $500 was applied and we've lowered the balance of the loan. We can click into this to see the $500 payment. You can also see the entry where the $20,000 was forgiven and moved to income. You can go back to Reports. You can go to the Profit and Loss. And you can see there was interest expense of 3516 for the month for that loan. So I hope this helps you account for your PPP loan and the forgiveness. If you have any questions on this at all, please drop them below in the comments and I'll be sure to respond and help you out. I hope that shed some light on this topic for you. 
If you're interested in learning more about these types of topics, I'd love for you to join my free Facebook community. You'll find the link down below in the description for this video. I hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe.